Let's see. What's up, Divine Trailblazer? Nice to see you back. Why does God keep a torture chamber in his basement? Brian, I, I didn't know God kept a torture chamber in his basement. Um, That's hell. That's not God's basement. That's the enemy's playground. That's not God's. Um, yeah, that's hell. Know the truth. Jesus repent. Sorry. Joanna, off topic. How tall are you? I'm five foot nine. Only God truly knows our hearts, and that's why he is the final judge and those that know the truth. So true, AJ. Love it. Um, all right. Hell is separation from God. I was just reading about this, actually, Quran, and yes, the idea, because, okay, somebody put on my post that at least I'll be in hell with my best friends, and I was reading the comment, like, if you knew and understood what hell is, you wouldn't say it so lightly like that. You wouldn't be so playful, like, I'll be in hell with my best friends, like, at least I have them, like, that's really sad. And if people understood what it truly is, like darkness, never ending fire, separation from God, like if people understood, they wouldn't say it so lightly because it's not something to take lightly. Um, but yeah. No peace, no God page. Yes, exactly. I'm guessing she's a Baptist. Um, I was raised Baptist. Now I am non-denominational. I My religion is Jesus Christ and what he says and his and the word of God. Um, uh, sorry, can't even pick a denomination. Yeah, I don't want to because it causes way too much separation. Um, people get too focused on I'm this denomination and you're wrong. It's like we all love Jesus Christ, right? We all believe in Jesus. That's my denomination. I go to church. I go to a non-denominational church. <laughs> Some people are so weird. Um, what does the Bible say about revenge? I forget what scripture it is. The Bible says a lot of things about revenge. Jesus talks about how, well, the Bible says like nobody take like do revenge because God will take care of it for you but also Jesus says to love your enemies so we shouldn't be vengeful um I gotta find the verse revenge belongs to the Lord <laughs> yes um Yes, a man and his Bible. There is no scripture to support the denomination. That is such a human thing. We serve Jesus and him 100%. I couldn't have said it better. My denomination, I always say, is Jesus Christ. Like, yes, I'm non-denominational, but the, I follow what Jesus says and I follow the word of God. Um... To also pray for those who persecute you. Yes, that is what, yep. I can't remember where it's at. I, I believe it's in Matthew because I just read it. I will find it. Sorry guys, looking for this verse. Oh yeah, you have heard that your ancestors were told you must not murder. If you commit murder, you are subject to judgment. But I say, if you are even angry with someone, you are subject to judgment. If you call someone an idiot, you are in danger of being brought before the court. And if you curse someone, you are in danger of the fires of hell. Um, but I say, love your enemies, pray for those who persecute you. 
In that way, you will be acting as true children of your Father in heaven, for he gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good, and he sends rain on the just and the unjust alike. If you love only those who love you, what reward is there for that? Even corrupt tax collectors do that much. If you are kind only to your friends, how are you different from anyone else? Even pagans do that. So yeah, that's Matthew chapter 5, verses 44 through 48. So, but I say, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. Oop, I got 43 comments, sorry. Why does God drown babies? Noah's flood. Um, so if you read the Bible, you would know that God was wiping out all of those towns because of how full of sin and horrible these people were. These people were absolutely terrible. And they were also doing horrible things to babies. So in a way, to me, God was protecting not only the babies, but he was trying to wipe it out to start fresh and start new so that people could choose him and choose to do better. Unfortunately, the Old Testament is full of a lot of people not choosing God and not worshiping God and not idolizing God. And they kept idolizing their, you know, false uh, teachers and their, you know, all of it. They were terrible people. If you read the Old Testament, people were doing awful, horrible, disgusting things. Addie, I'm sorry, that was Matthew uh, chapter 5, verses 44. 44 through 48, if I didn't. Sorry. Sorry. Um, did I miss any questions, guys? Yes, the baby isn't in hell, but in heaven. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Hebrews. I love the book of Hebrews, Ben. It's so good. Okay, verse 10. Anyway, does anyone have any more questions for me um, about God? Tessai, we've been over this so many times. Why do you worship a God, she said, or this person asked, why do you worship a God that condones slavery? God did not condone slavery. Slavery was a result of our flesh. It was a result of our sin. What God did was put regulations on it so we would stop murdering and hurting and destroying people. God put regulations on everything. That's what he did, right? Same with lust, same with marriage, same with everything that we abused and made very sinful that's what God put regulations on. He didn't say, he didn't say like that it's okay. And he wants, he, God would never create people for some to be slaves and some to be masters. We are all one in Jesus Christ. God did not condone slavery. That is a result of our flesh. Lita, what's up girl? I am so glad you're back. So, Jameson was looking for you. I don't know if he's still on here, Lita, but he was looking for you earlier. Um, I don't know if Jameson's still on here though, but like, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool, you guys linked up. Cool. Um, but yeah, so I forgot where what I was doing in the Bible. Anyway, <laughs> I forgot where I was going. Uh, Daniel, in your witchcraft days, did you encounter evil spirits? 100%. I always felt this like dark presence over me when I was doing witchcraft and all of that. Um, but I never, like I never actually, some people say they saw, they've seen demons. I've never seen one. I do feel like God was protecting me during all of that because I always felt major conviction over witchcraft and over all of that. I just kept like trying to stifle the Holy Spirit. Um, but yeah. Yes, London Calling, I used to 
do witchcraft. Like I've said before, I was raised Baptist. I drastically fell away from the church. I got into spirituality. I got into the new age movement and then I got deep into witchcraft and then I found Christ again on my own. Um, MBA, we're kind of done now, but we were talking about, um, first we were talking about God's will for our lives. And then we were just reading out of the book of Matthew to finish up of like what I had been reading this week. And I was just sharing it with you guys. Um, and it is seven. So I know it's late for my East coast people. Yeah, it is seven o'clock for me. 